Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. Today I have part two of my Salvation Army haul. I'm loving what my Salvation Army here is doing lately. They have 70% uh, off of one color, 50% off another, and 25% off yet another. I've been buying everything up in the store. Here's part two. Hope you enjoy it. They keep bringing out more of that Buffalo restaurant undecorated uh, blank China ware, and I keep buying it. I was lucky to get these at half price this time, so that was approximately 30 cents a piece. Um, for about 30 pieces, I paid about $9. Oh, the back stamp that you saw before um, dates that piece to 1965. All these pieces are mixed up between 1965 and 1966. This Lennox Tupperware bowl was a half price, so I paid 50 cents for it. And I actually picked it up because if you remember a couple uh, videos back, I found some temperware, Lennox temperware in the fire flower pattern. So it's kind of fun to find another pattern. This pattern is called Sampler and it dates 1980 to 1983. And what I like about the temperware is you can put it in the oven, the freezer, right to the table, the dishwasher. It's pretty indestructible. And this cereal bowl, I think I'm gonna list it for about three to four dollars. They do pretty well. Well, I had shown you a while back, not too far back, I had purchased an anchor hocking in the Savannah Clear pattern, oval, casserole, or roaster, because you can roast a chicken right in here. And I'd never seen one before. I did find another one. I paid five dollars for this. It was yellow, and yellow wasn't on sale, but I picked it up because I liked mine so much, and cameraman's sister. This is her pattern, and I wasn't ready to part with the other one, so I think I might give her this one. They sell for about $18. That's on the low end on eBay. I found some more Syracuse restaurant wear in the Park Lane pattern. I had found a whole bunch of uh, mostly pie plates before, and I just love this pattern. They're just the saucers. I do wish they had the cups, but they don't. They're in perfect condition. The back stamps date these to 1954, and they're in the Winthrop shape. That shape you see right there is in the Winthrop shape. And I'm glad I picked them up, even though they don't have the cups, because I can get about $2 um, a saucer for them. I'll probably sell it off as a lot for $10. There's five of them. I paid 99 cents for this. It was yellow. Yellow was not on sale, but I'd never seen this before. It says vase mate on the bottom. I did a little research. I thought it was a planter. I still think it might be, but I really think it's a planter liner, vase mate maybe being planter liner. They date to the 40s and 50s. And this one right here sells sells for about eight to ten dollars. They did make one I see online a lot that's more decorative. It says vase mate on the bottom. It's kind of uh it's got more of a, it's got a pattern to it and it's got a scallop edge and they seem to be selling for in the 40 to 50 dollar range so i'm going to keep my eye out for one of those i was super excited to find these mugs they're glass and they are don ed hardy most commonly just known as ed hardy and i'm not a major ed hardy fan but i knew i had to pick these up the minute i saw them he's a very recognizable these are in the famous tattoo designs you can see they're all a little bit different and i paid they were half price i paid 50 cents each i'm gonna ask 15 dollars for them and those of you who are not familiar with ed hardy or it's actually don ed hardy but he's known as ed hardy ed hardy was a tattoo artist he was born in 1945 he was a Cali boy, and in 1973, he studied tattooing in Japan, and he's very well known for his apparel, and I don't see much dinnerware or glasses, but I know they're out there, but I've seen a lot of leather pieces. My sister kind of likes Ed Hardy, and I think I said I was going to ask about $15 for the set of four. I 
I paid 99 cents for this covered sugar ball. It's in great condition. I love the design. It's Mikasa and the pattern is called Duplex. And you can see it's in really nice condition. They produced these between 1974 and 1975. The Duplex line came in many, many colors. There's some really cool colors out there. My favorite is the pink, uh, followed by the purple, but a lot of colors. They also made this as a companion to the Duet line. It's the exact same one. I can't see any difference. This is a Duplex in the orange. It's made in Japan. And I bought it for 99 cents. I'm gonna sell it for about $15. But what I really liked about it, in addition to its design, which dates back to 1974 um, to 1975, is the fact that it's a Ben Seibel design. And Ben Seibel, who lived between 1918 and 1985, was an American industrial engineer. And he's best known for his tableware. And I found other Mikasa pieces in the Ben Seibel, Seibel excuse me, um, line, and they sell pretty well. I'm gonna ask about $15 for this bowl. Well, this anchor hawking pitcher, it's in the Wexford pattern. It's a 64 ounce, it's really heavy. They're not marked on the bottom, but it's a very familiar pattern to me and probably a lot of you out there. It was half price, I paid 50 cents for it. Again, I broke my uh, tradition of not buying anything super heavy that I want to pack and ship but I couldn't pass that up for 50 cents. I stopped buying a lot of Wexford. It seems to be everywhere, but you don't run into the pictures much. So I think I'm going to list this picture for about just $8. The shipping's gonna be pretty heavy. No chips, no cracks, really nice shape. They produced Wexford between 1962 and 1998. Picked up a set of four of these pretty plates. They were 75% off. I paid $1.50 for all of them. I'm gonna ask about $10 for them. They have the clover leaf back stamp right there. That's a Nippon and let me hope I can get this right. Uh, it's a Yoko Boki, the Yoko Boki Company. And that mark post dates it to 1921, probably into the early 1940s. All these pieces are not marked on the bottom, not one of them. The pattern dates to 1963. All these pieces of ironstone pottery right here were pink, so they were half price. I paid $1.70 for all of them. I'm gonna ask $10 for them. The pattern is called Provincial and it's by Seal Pottery. It's ironstone, I think I just mentioned that. It's got a really great pattern, um, kind of like roosters. I have a few different roosters right here. And the Seal Pottery Company was formed in Seal, Ohio in uh, 1932 and they closed in 1985 and the founder Lou Reese actually founded the company he said so he could make affordable dinnerware for people they're also for, uh, famous for their Campbell soup and Maxwell House coffee mugs novelty mugs and um, ashtrays I don't see so much dinnerware out there but I have run into the uh, mugs I was watching Scott's Old Curiosity Shop a week or so ago, and he had all these great roosters um, in his video. He said they were from the 1930s and the 40s, and that all houses, all kitchens in the 1930s and 40s had to have these roosters in them. And I just love them, and I said, why don't I ever find anything like that? And lo and behold, I went out, and there you go. Um, I paid 50 cents for it. It shows some sign of wear. They sell for about six to $10, but I'm gonna keep this one in my kitchen. Well, there's nothing really vintage about this 2006 edition of Battle of the Sexes board game, but I did pay 99 cents for it, and I pick up games and puzzles and toys when they're unopened like this because they sell pretty well on eBay. I paid 99 cents for this. I'm going to sell it probably, um, let's see, I think they sell in the 10 to $15 range. So it's a good investment to pick them up when you see them. Thank you for watching part two of my Salvation Army Thrift Haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, share if you can, and leave a comment, which is most important to me. Thanks again. Have a great day. We'll see you real soon. Share and mostly comment. Hi, Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my... <coughs> no problem. 
Thank you for watching, Clark. Oh, uh <laughs>